Hi, this is Dr. McGee. Our team is getting everything ready to help you through your UCL reconstruction surgery. I want to go over some of the details so you know exactly what to expect. The first thing we want you to know is that if you have any questions or concerns after your surgery, you can call or text the main office number. It's 702-485-5885. Even if it's late or a holiday, the answering service will get a hold of us. First, the surgery will take about 60 minutes and you'll be in the operating room for a total of about an hour and a half. You'll be in recovery for about an hour after we finish and then you'll be ready to go home. I explained some of the details of the procedure in the office, but I'll go through more of that now. You'll be under general anesthesia for this surgery, which means you'll be completely asleep and you will not feel anything that we do during the procedure. Anesthesia may also talk to you about a nerve block, a procedure to numb the arm that greatly decreases the pain that you'll feel after the surgery. It won't completely eliminate all pain, but it does help quite a bit. The block should wear off after about 8 to 24 hours. These are the basic steps of the surgery. An incision is made on the inside part of the elbow. We release the ulnar nerve and we take a tendon from either the forearm or the inside part of the knee, depending on what we talked about, and that will be used as the graft to reconstruct the ligament. We move the nerve over to complete the procedure. Here's a short cartoon to review how that's done. When we are finished, we close the wounds and all the stitches will go underneath the skin like a plastic surgery closure. They'll dissolve over time. There'll be no stitches or staples that have to be taken out. We also use a glue on top of the wound that helps keep tension on the wound and also serves as a cover for the incision as well. There will be tape-like bandages on top of that called Steri-Strips. They'll stay on until they fall off or we'll take them off at the two-week visit. You may have additional dressings and gauze on top of your wound and that can be taken off the day after surgery. After the surgery, you'll have a soft sleeve and a hinged elbow brace on your elbow. You should wear the sleeve for the first 24 hours to help with swelling. You can remove the brace for ice, physical therapy, and a shower. You'll wear the brace for a total of six weeks. The first two weeks, the brace will be set with your elbow flexed at 70 degrees. After that, we will continue to advance your motion as dictated by the protocol. You can take a shower two days after surgery and it's okay for the water to run over the steri strips, but don't scrub the area. You will receive a separate video that goes through the medications that are helpful after surgery for pain, nausea, etc. Use an ice pack or cold therapy machine on your surgery site for 20 minutes every hour while you're awake the first 48 hours after surgery. After that, use it as needed after activity or physical therapy. Remember to place a cloth or a thin sheet between your skin and the ice when you're using either an ice pack or the cold machine. Physical therapy typically begins the day after surgery. You'll receive a copy of the referral as well as the therapy protocol after your surgery in a folder. Please take this entire folder with you to your first therapy appointment. Occasionally, we delay the start of therapy depending on what's found at the time of surgery. If you have any questions or concerns, remember that you can call or text the main office number. Also, this is a general guideline and there may be unique issues related to your particular case. At any point, if you have questions or concerns, you can call us. So we've gone over a lot of information. There is going to be a time the morning of your surgery before your case. And we have plenty of time then to answer any additional questions or if you need clarification about any of the topics that have been discussed in these videos.